Hey, good morning. It is Friday, January 29th. Happy Friday. And what a shocker overnight as the Bank of Japan um, actually sent interest rates below zero. So they had a zero interest rate and they moved it to minus 0.1%. And also they are maintaining their QE program and expanding the asset base to 930 billion a year, buying up bonds and REITs and um, ETFs, anything that they can do to shore up their stock market. So this has really helped the Asian markets um, and uh, Draghi is gonna be in a pickle now, trying to um, figure out he's actually gonna have to do something instead of just jawboning uh, the market. So here was the rate drop, what it did to the yen. Uh, just a huge move, and that occurred all in a two-minute span right here. Two minutes from 2138 to 2139, over a $2,000 move. So it pays to be at your terminal at all times, but, I mean, who knows when these things are going to happen. So we've retraced up. Um, how much did we retrace up? It looks like a lot. Yeah, 70%. So it looks like we'll probably just range inside of here. Um, I don't know how much, if at all, it'll explore outside this area today. But um, I'll definitely have my eye on this uh, when the U.S. market opens. But more importantly, um, it is what has happened to our um, U.S. markets that is interesting to me and seeing the pop that we're going to get following the Asia market lift, uh, which I suspect could happen. Um, right now, we were in a range, and we're breaking the range coming into the U.S. Open. Our gap run is way down here at 1881, um, above the 61.8, but right um, below the yesterday VWAP and the yesterday halfback. So the yesterday point of control, though, is above the halfback, and that could act as a circuit breaker. Um, so we'll just keep our eye on this level, this 38.2 level, and see if we get price um, to bounce it here and go back up, or what is going to happen to price. So um, I've got a 60-minute chart I want to show you as soon as my platform unfreezes there it goes um this pink line the uh, fuchsia is the yes uh, the weekly open and this red line is the weekly point of control and you can see how we've been sandwiched up and down ranging between these two markers so um here's the um River of Gold, and the blue is the weekly River of Gold, and the weekly VWAP. So I would like to see price um, bounce out of our River of Gold and back up and out to follow the Japanese yen trade. And that's what I think traders are going to be watching for. Here's our trend line. And let's see if we bounce here and continue up, or if we get a drop and pop. Okay, so we've got a little bit to, to watch out for. And so I'll be monitoring this, looking for um, opportunities to get a long position on. And... Um, hope to see an opening drive that will be positive right now the weekly daily 6015 just went the 6015 just went negative it had been in the green so that was that breakout of our rectangle sending this back into the red so it's going to be a counter trend trade when we get down here um, but I'm trading off the juice off of that Japanese yen uh, trade so I'm going to give myself a permissive to take a counter trend trade against the strategy before waiting for this to turn around into positive territory. Um, I will wait for a white candle 
and um, get my eight slope going back in the right direction before taking the trade. So here are my turns, which I will be watching and I will wait for a white candle and a green signal before getting in. I won't be guessing at a level uh, to take a trade uh, before a candle prints. Ordinarily, I like to put a higher time frame requirement on that white candle uh, because even though I'm not getting an exact top or bottom, I'm getting in when the market has turned around and it's giving me an opportunity for a trade. So um, that's probably what I'll keep doing. And the stop when you do that is behind that pivot low. So you're going to have an initial um, risk that's probably going to be a little bit higher than you're ordinarily used to seeing, 10 points or something. So always go for um, two to one risk reward on that. So you'll be definitely forced into holding a directional trade um, for that. So start with one contract and um, hold your powder and um, see if you can catch one to rally up for you. Uh, and today, I think even though we're seeing 6015 in the red, I think that's going to turn all green uh, when the market opens off the back of that yen dev devaluation. So um, we're in the retracement now. Uh, the Fibonacci rule, uh, just to, to reinforce this, if it gets down to 61.8, there is a good possibility that it could touch the uh, yesterday high again, but not go much further. If it gets to the 50%, we could exceed the yesterday high and continue rallying higher. If it bounces at 38.2, that's the best of all scenarios, then we can expect a little bit higher of a move out of that area, that range. And I know that the um, traders are recognizing that we've been in a um, weekly range and we've got a trend line going here, so um, 60 minute. We'll see if we can use this and propel it like a uh, ascending triangle with the weekly high, weekly open for our uh, top of our triangle and our trend line. And as this crunches inside here, we're going to propel up and out because the trend line is coming up on our ascending 60 minute triangle. How about that for a chart pattern? So um, hopefully that'll turn out. <laughs> if not, trade the other way. Y'all have a good weekend. And next week we're going to have the um, open house for the trade room. So every day, Monday through Friday, I'll be having um, the trade room open Send me an email at support at JAuto Trading Strategies if you'd like to be on the list, and I will send you a link. And I'll have the room open between um, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. or 10.30, 8 and 10.30 a.m., Monday through Friday. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.